guys so today I'm gonna do a different type of video than I normally do I'm going to be doing an empties video and if you're not sure what an empties video is then keep watching because I'm gonna explain um, I have this bag full full of stuff products that I have completely used up I did something similar to this on my blog a year ago and people found it really really helpful and I find these types of videos helpful just because obviously the person who's used these products have used them for a really long time they haven't you know just used it once or twice they've used it enough to actually use up the entire products so they can give a really good review on them so I thought this was going to be easier than typing all of my thoughts out and I actually have quite a few products so let's go ahead and jump right into it. So the first product I'm going to talk about is technically not empty. Excuse my kitty back there running around. Um, but I have this much left of it, so I figured I might as well include it in this video. This is the... I don't even know the technical... There we go. I thought I had rubbed off. The Arcona Berry Fruit Bar. I'll probably finish this up in the next couple of days with my Clarisonic. Excuse the noise. My cat is playing next to me. Um, so this is what a brand new one looks like. It's all wrapped up, um, but this is obviously the size of the bar compared to this. So obviously I've used quite a bit of it. I love, love, love this bar, this product. Um, it's absolutely incredible. And this product just cleanses my skin very, very well, um, but doesn't strip it dry. I don't feel like my skin is tight afterwards. It just feels squeaky clean, nice and soft and smooth and like I've gotten all my makeup off, but not like it's just dying for thirst as soon as I get out of the shower. While we're on the subject of Arcona, I might as well jump into this product. These are the Arcona Triad pads and these are basically, they call these um, cranberry toner and convenient cotton pads. And this cleanses, tones, and hydrates. So what I do when I get out of the shower, obviously I will wash my face and then I will use this as a toner. It's basically just in like a, a cotton pad and I just wipe it all over my face and it gets off any excess makeup, takes away any, you know, residue from the cleanser, anything like that, and just gets my skin even more squeaky clean than it was with the bar. So there are 30 in here, 30 pads. Um, so that will last me obviously about a month. Um, so the bar is definitely, in my opinion, worth the money just because I believe the bar is like $35. So for like six plus months worth of use, that's great. These I want to say are like 20 to 30 bucks. So it's like a dollar a toner. So it's really not super money conscious. While I love them, um, I don't know if if they're worth the money. Sticking with the skin theme, this is the Sotis Hydra Advanced Cream Hy Comfort Hydrating Cream. This is very thick. This is like my nighttime moisturizer. And even though it is thick, it sinks into your skin so quickly. It's not greasy, it's not heavy. At least on my skin, I have very dry skin, so my skin just kind of drinks this up and it is incredible. Sticking with the skin theme, I'm going to go with another moisturizer. This is the um, is it Ole, Ole Henriksen um, Truth Cream Advanced Hydration. This is obviously just a sample size. This is a 0.25 fluid ounce compared to this, this and um, Ole Hendrickson, I do like his products. I'm currently using his eye cream and I absolutely love it. It smells like oranges. All of his products do, like a very like citrusy kind of smell. Um, but this to me, this I use as my daytime moisturizer, obviously not for super long just because it's tiny, but this isn't very hydrating to me. Um, and maybe that's good for someone who doesn't like a lot of, you know, thick, heavy um, products on their skin, especially during the daytime, but I'd almost rather have something thicker because this will at least sink in. This just felt just greasy to me, just kind of stayed on top of my skin um, and just took a while to soak in. And in the morning especially, I want my products to sink in quickly. So this, mm, not super crazy about. This is the True Serum Collagen Booster. I love this. Love, love, love this. This is what I would use... I guess morning or night, just depending on what I felt like. Um, and this is a serum. Once again, it's got that citrusy smell. Sinks in really quickly. Um, it hydrates really, really well. And supposedly this is um, potent vitamin C complex. So vitamin C is really good for your skin. This is supposed to be anti-aging, which is wonderful. So yeah, this I'd recommend. 
this not so much. I'm excited to try this in full size. I guess sticking with the skincare theme, I have three of these, so obviously I like them. Um, this is the Yes to Cucumber Soothing Hypoallergenic Facial Towelettes. That is a mouthful. Um, these can be purchased at the drugstore for like five or six dollars. I have tried other drugstore wipes and they've broken me out like crazy. Like literally my entire face was full of bumps, which is not good. Now, these are not my favorite. I will be 100% honest. Um, you'd think so, me going through three of them and obviously keep purchasing them. Um, but I don't know. I mean, these are 98% natural and they're five or six bucks, which to me is a really good deal. You can sometimes buy them, buy one, get one half off or buy one, get one free. Um, but... I don't know, to me, they just don't, they don't stay wet through the entire pack. You get 30 and kind of you get to, you know, the last five or so, and they're just definitely not as wet as the original ones. So I am looking for, I like them to be natural, you know, have really great products, no parabens, no um, sulfates, no, you know, just kind of nasty, drying, gross stuff in it. But I also don't want to spend a ridiculous amount of money. So if you guys know of anything, please let me know. I am kind of on the lookout. I don't have any more makeup removing wipes at the moment, so I'm in desperate need. So let me know about that. Okay, so moving on to body products. This is the Skin to Mint um, Moisturizing Shave Gel in Raspberry Rain. This is the baby size. This stuff, yes, it's great. Does it work well? Yes, but like I said, I definitely try and go like the more like natural route. So this does have like sulfates in it. Um, it dries my skin out. So this isn't like my all time favorite. Obviously there really aren't a lot of, um, as far as I can find at the drugstore, shave, shave creams or shave gels that don't have sulfates and like really drying products in them. So I've just been using conditioner to shave my legs, which I personally like a lot better. Obviously you're in some people's opinion, wasting the product that way, but I I really like it. So this is, I mean, it's okay, obviously. I'll probably go buy more again, but it's definitely not my favorite. I had this stuff for forever. This is the Bath & Body Works Pearberry Shower Gel. Pearberry is my favorite, favorite, favorite scent by them. And you're probably gonna be like, why are you even using this? You know, this has sulfates and parabens like crazy. Yes, I do. I've had this product forever and just wanted to kind of get rid of it. So will I be buying this again? Probably not, but just, I mean, it smells incredible, but just wanted to, to use it up. There are way better body washes out there that don't have any parabens or sulfates in them, but they're more expensive. So there's the downside, of course. Shampoo and conditioner, I've been using the Brazilian Keratin Therapy, um, and this is by Organics. You can get this at the drugstore, and I do not believe this has any um, sulfates or parabens in them. It doesn't look like it. Nope. So these are great. These are like the second or third set that I've purchased of these. It smells wonderful. It just kind of smells like like coconuts mixed with like summertime, kind of like that. Um, obviously, I don't use it, but the um, like the tanning oil, like the banana boat, you know, in the dark, like the oil that you spray on yourself, this smells like it. So if you like that smell, you will definitely like it. Um, this I find cleans your hair really, really well, and this conditioner is extremely thick. So you can just leave it on in the shower for a couple minutes and kind of give yourself like a nice little treatment mask, which is great, so. And normally you can find these like buy one get one half off. They're probably like about five or six dollars a piece. Okay, these are obviously just sample sizes that I used up a while ago. These are the Tresemme Split Remedy Shampoo and Conditioner and I didn't like these. I wouldn't recommend these. Um, the shampoo was okay. I mean, but once again it's got all that bad crap in it so I don't like it. And then the conditioner just wasn't thick at all. It didn't seem to do anything for my hair. Um, I mean, I kind of got out of the shower and it was just like, my hair's just eh. You know, um, it didn't feel hydrated. It didn't feel like my split ends were necessarily cured. Um, it didn't feel softer because the conditioner it didn't feel more, you know, especially clean because the shampoo it was just, I wouldn't really, wouldn't recommend these. Moving on to makeup products. And this is, you can see just an empty like silver eyeshadow pan. This is from MAC and this is the color Sable. This was a beautiful kind of taupey brown um, metallic eyeshadow 
obviously it's gone. Love Sable, it's a total classic, but I have so many eyeshadows in my collection, it's kind of ridiculous, kind of disgusting, so I have not repurchased that yet, probably won't just because I have so many other taupes and pretty metallic browns to choose from, but if you're looking for a great eyeshadow from MAC, Satin, Taupe, and Sable are my two favorites, so I would definitely recommend Sable if you're in the market for something. And then I have a couple lip products here that I have used up. This one is the Sugar Fresh uh, Lip Treatment. This is just the baby size that I think last year Sephora's gift for your birthday was um, two of these, just the regular clear one and the pink one. The pink one I currently have in my purse. And this is just com completely gone. I can't even go up anymore. This smells good, but in my opinion, is the large size worth like $22.50? Absolutely not. Um, that is horrendous for a chapstick. But the packaging is really nice. I like how it's like a metal packaging and you have to like screw it on and screw it off so it's not going to come open in your bag, which is really, really nice. But overall, not worth the money in my opinion. Speaking of, here's the full size. You can kind of see like the difference in the sizes that Sephora gives you on your birthday and then the size that you actually pay for. Um, this is the rose one, so it's like a, a red tint. You probably can't even, can't even see that. It's very, very light, um, just a very easy, um, you don't even have to have a mirror for this kind of lip balm. But like I said, is it worth $22.50? Probably wouldn't purchase this again. Now something that is worth the money to me is the Maybelline Baby Lips. I swear I had another one and I can't, I can't find it. Um, and I literally dug this. There is not even any product in here. This is just plastic down here. I dug this out of here. I love this. Um, this is extremely moisturizing. I love to keep one of these just in my purse. One in the car is great. It's called Quenched. And this to me smells like kind of like lemonade, like pink lemonade. And I love it. It's so, 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 so nice. I have a couple of the colored ones right now. I think I'm going to go get another clear one, though, once my no buy is up at the end of February. I'm currently not purchasing any products and trying to use up my collection until the end of February, so for two months. Um, so, yeah, that is wonderful. And then finally, I have a couple of candles. I have cinnamon and clove buds and leaves, both from Bath and Body Works. These are the Slat Can Go candles, the Three Wicks. These are my absolute favorite, favorite, favorite candles. Um, they both smell amazing. Hi, Sully. You want to smell? Yeah. No. So there is that. Um, it smells just, if you like like Red Hots, you will love this scent. I'm not sure if this is just like a holiday exclusive candle. I've had this candle for a while. It just, it smells amazing. And then leaves is a classic. I think this only comes out during the holiday time. Um, but it smells like, to me, like apple cinnamon. <laughs> Excuse you. <laughs> so this is probably my favorite candle of all time, which I feel like leaves is everyone's favorite candle. But this is absolutely incredible. You can find these a lot of the time. It's like a buy one, get one. Or, you know, $10 each and they're normally $20. So that essentially is buy one, get one. So those are all the products I used up. I hope that was helpful for you guys. Instead of like reading, I guess, all of my ramblings in a blog post, you got to listen to it in a video. If you guys have any other video requests that you would like to see, go ahead, just let me know in the comment section below and I will try and film those for you guys. And I will hopefully see you soon. Be sure to check out my blog, Crushing on Clothes, for more fashion tips and styling images. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.